everybody. This is Tara from My Artsy Mind. Um, it's been a while and it's taken me a bit to get back into the swing of things. So I'm just doing a, a little video, a little craft with me. I got some junk mail. Um, I got this envelope from Arbor Day Foundation and it's got some pretty pictures and some nice papers, a little envelope. And I've got some random pieces of uh, digital art. Um, I will try to list the different people that I am using, although it's been so long and I've been doing a lot of cleaning here at the studio. And I'm not sure if I'm going to remember everybody, but I will do my best to try to at least list the different people that I have um, bought digital art from. And let's see. So I figured I'd use this stuff and uh, have a little play today with you guys. It's been a while and <clears throat> frankly I do miss it <laughs> so hopefully um, you guys will enjoy so let's see so I'm really am loving this envelope it's got um, almost like a wax paper window in it so I love the color we got a little mini envelope here and then please excuse if you hear any noise um, that's just the, the workers outside so let's see, I've got this. And it's just such a pretty picture, isn't that? Mm. Some of the wording is nice. I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna use this, but I do like it. I like that too. Hmm. But it's a nice paper, it's not shiny. Ooh, look at that. I could cut that out and use that. Hmm. Let's see. So here's two. This is a nice little card stock. I think I'll use that to make a make something with and then even the paper that's printed on for just the letters an awful nice big piece maybe we'll do some collaging on that yeah so I am going to um, do some work here I'm gonna speed it up for this part and I will uh, slow it down a little bit and we'll talk again So I've decided to do some collaging. I'm gonna go ahead and collage this to use. And I cut this out. I'm gonna make it, I think I'm gonna make a, uh, a journal card here. And so um, I will do the collaging off camera and I will be right back or I'll do a little bit of it on camera. But for now, um, I'll be back.
Okay guys, here is the finished collage sheet. There is the, the front and here is the back. And now I'm gonna move on to some of the other uh, pieces from that junk mail, okay? All right guys, so I've got that uh, collage sheet that I did and I took, went ahead and took some time to cut out Fussy cut some butterflies and some other little bits and pieces and things. And I finished, um, I went ahead and backed this and I'm gonna turn this into a journaling card. And let's see, I've saved a few of these pieces. And I kind of have an idea, I think, of what I wanna do. Um, so let's go ahead and first things first, I'm gonna use this to make a cover. And I'm going to score it. So, I'm still getting used to my new arrangement here. It won't look much different from you guys, but everything around me has been moved and uh, rearranged, so I'm still getting a little bit used to it. So, what I wanna do is I wanna make uh, a cover that folds over on itself. I want it to be four and a half. Hmm, go this way, four and a half. Actually, I want it to be four and a half this way. From the bottom up or the top up from the bottom, from this end down. So four and a half, I'm gonna score it. Hmm, <laughs> this is a big piece. Oh, you know what, instead of scoring it, how about I just, I have a better idea, let's start. Let's start this again. A little trial and error here as we go. I think I'm gonna cut it. So let's pull this out and I'm going to measure. So pencil and let's go ahead and do, I'm gonna use my, actually that's kind of hard to see. Let's do this. So I want seven and a half. Tall. A little mark which I can get rid of later. And oops, seven and a half. This direction. with me while I fight with this. Oh, this is long enough. Good. I'll use this as a straight edge. And excuse my head if it gets in the way, guys. There we go. That'll work. I'm just going to score that, or not score that, draw that line real light. And then I'm going to use oh, let's see, this guy. We are gonna cut. Well, not we, but me. We're gonna cut. There we go. I hope that's strong enough. Mm, there's my line. Oh, I need new glasses. <laughs> I also got new glasses. In the time that I was away, so that's well, not new glasses. I haven't had glasses, gosh, in a very long time. my head if it gets in the way. Let me just get this lined up here. There we go. I can hear it. There we go. I think that's it. Almost. There we go. And excellent. So I got that. I can make tags out of. Yeah. Okay, and now let's do some scoring. And then I can cut off the excess that I don't need. So, let me grab the scoreboard again. And 
Now I can do the seven and a half. Okay, I'm gonna flip it this way because I don't, know, don't need seven and a half. That's already been cut. Ooh, I'm flinging stuff all over the place. Not paying attention. Oh well, I'll look for it later if I have to get up. Um, scoring tool and I want four and a half from this edge. So four and a half. There we go. And then I want to give it a little bit of bulk. So I'm thinking I'm going to do, oh, because I've got at least two envelopes to go in. Plus I want to do a small signature. So I can do half an inch maybe. Three quarters of an inch. Hmm, I'm going to do three quarters. Or no, not three quarters. Oh, what is that? Not half. One, two, three eighths. I'm going to do three eighths. Of a... All right. Excellent. And then, so from that three eighths mark, we're going to go another. F... Oh, I did it at the four, didn't I? Well, I think I already messed up. It was supposed to be four and a half, wasn't it? Hmm. Well, guess what? We're going to start from this end. Let's see. So if I do... This is going to be the piece that folds over. I think the four work is the question. I might just keep it at four because I do have that envelope or that card. It's going to be a little tight. Oh, I'm so mad I did that. Hmm. Oh, you know what I can do? I know what I can do. Problem solved. So <laughs> don't mind me while my brain works. So even though that I only did four, I think I'm going to go a little wider on this part. So if I take it over one two, three, and that would be four, giving it a half. That makes it four and a half right there. So my center piece will be four and a half. This might just work. So this is an experiment. You guys are witnessing it firsthand. Oh, it's gonna take me a little while to get back into the swing of things. One, two, three, eights over for that. And I do want, let's see, so how do I want this? So this will fold like this, which is fine. And I'll have a little bit more room there, so that'll be okay. Oops, that's, there we go. And then this will overlap. Oh, let's see, how much do we want to overlap it? Not a whole lot. Kind of like some of that stuff shown. So you know what? Maybe I'll cut it. And that'll still give me a little overlap there. Yeah, I'll cut it somewhere around there. All right, so put the scoreboard away. It's not all bad. I wonder if this will be tall enough. Yes. I like this cutter. All right, so I'll give me another piece. So we're going to cut it. Oh, somewhere in here. Excellent. There, another piece. And let's see how this works out. Okay, so there's that. There's that. And that. There. So it'll open. Yeah, that'll work. And that way, my card and my envelope will still fit in here. Yeah, no problem. Fantastic. Okay, so there's part of it. And so what I wanted to do is decorate this envelope. I'll put the cover aside. I'll play with that later. I'm going to decorate this envelope. I'd like to decorate this envelope. This, I want to be able to put into that. So I'm actually going to make it um, yeah, smaller. So I'm going to cut this envelope down. That'll fit in there, no problem. Let's 
but I can also turn that into a pocket. So I guess I can put this out again. So let's cut this guy. There, and then I can turn that into a little pocket. And I can decorate that, I can decorate that, and I can decorate that. So I did grab some sheet music to play with. And I've got some other things, like I said, that I cut out to play with. Some circles, all botanical type stuff, butterflies. Um, oh, I know what I do. Let's go ahead and decorate this because I already have an idea of what I would like to do with this card. I'm going to keep it real simple. There we go. I'm going to throw some butterflies on it. Let's see. I want that butterfly. No, I want the big blue butterfly. Ooh, it's pretty. Mm, let's do the smaller one. And then maybe this guy. Yeah, I kind of like that. I like him kind of head in that direction. There we go. So I'm going to attach those and do some inking. So let's do the inking first. Let's... All right. Okay, so yes, ink, inking away here. So I also got a full size uh, ink pad too, which I don't know if I had had that with the last video I did or not. But the little ones, um, they work okay, but they I use them so much they were wearing out, so I figured I'd try try a larger one. It's nice and juicy. Oops, let me just make sure my antennae, there we go, are well inked. Alright, let's get this little guy. Oops. There we go. Looks good. There's a there. Okay, and this last little butterfly. His antennae are a little wonky too. I can always draw them in. Okay, there's that. And then for the big guy. It definitely needs it. So we're gonna keep this journal card real simple. that on the other side okay so let's put these guys down let's do glue stick there we go that way you guys can see cutie. And let's get the last one with the wonky antennae, huh? There we go. And we'll put you right there. Um, so the other thing I could do, it's already got words on it. Oops, there goes the antenna. There we go. So I don't need to add any more words, but let's go ahead and decorate the other side. I know that's the right inside, but I kind of like the idea of um, using some of this washi tape that I printed out. It's awful pretty. 
and maybe oh let's see some words hmm I think I like the create your art. Let's cut that one out. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, and we'll just cross those guys. Yeah, that works. All right, let's do that. So let's cut this down to size. So it has been a while, guys, and um, uh, since, since the last video, um, I can't remember if I think I hit 100. I almost hit 100, maybe. I don't know. Um, I've definitely hit 100 now, and um, I've even gone past. I think last I looked, I was at 111 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who subscribed and those who continue to look out for videos from me. I will be starting to put videos again weekly back on my channel, um, My Artsy Mind. So for those who have been following, uh, look forward to that. I'm also going to do um, a giveaway to celebrate um, reaching the 100 subscribers. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do. I have some ideas, but keep your eyes open for that. It will be coming soon. And again, I just wanna say thank you to everybody for your support, your kind words, um, and for subscribing, even when I wasn't being very active. I really appreciate everything. So since I hadn't been around much over the winter, how did everybody's winter go? You know, it was a cold one here in New York. There we go. Our spring has been uh, cold and rainy. Yeah, I think I like that. Keep it simple. We'll go here. Maybe over here. Okay, I like that even better. All right, there's the plan. We got this. So I also have a boatload of um, videos to catch up on because I have also um, been uh, slacking on watching videos as well of all you ladies that I enjoy so much. And for that, I apologize. So I'll get caught up and kind of see what I've been missing and um, get back on that bandwagon because it is always fun. You guys always make me laugh. Oops. There we go. So I did get um, one request for a tutorial video. It'll be kind of a tutorial slash craft with me, but um, the last video I did, I did a uh, flip through of my uh, Rock Your Journal, the first one, February uh, 2021 journal that I did with um, Carol Tinson. And I had a pop-up page there and I did get a request for that, how I did that. So that will be coming as well. I've got a few things that I'd like to share with you guys, including continuing to do more with them. Um, I've been saving my junk mail. I've got lots of it and packaging, and I want to do something with it. Gosh, I hate throwing it away, you know, when you can make something pretty like this. All right, so we got one card done. Fantastic. All right, and let's go on to the envelope. So, I like that. I think I'm going to use this on the envelope. Move some stuff out of the way so it's a little more noticeable. Hmm. I want to keep some of the brown. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll just do a rough tear here around the sheet music. And see what we can do here. How that will look. So. 
not bad. I'll keep that little tree showing there. And so I'll tear down here. I don't mind covering the window a little bit, so I think I'll do it like that. All right, let's ink it a little. Oof. This ink pad, this new one, and the dauber are so juicy and it's so dark compared to what I've been used to using. Yeah, that's pretty. All right, let's stick that down. I'm also using a new phone for filming. Um, my lighting setup, I think, is better. I just watched um, a part of the last film I did as a test run, and uh, it looks so much nicer. So hopefully it's also looking nicer for you guys as well. It's not just me. <laughs> Feel like I have a little more space. I've cleared off some stuff off my table, so yeah, that works. Let's see, what else can we do? Now there's, oh yeah, that's pretty. Maybe I'll put that on there. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Let's do it. So let's kind of fussy cut that a little. Get my little garbage bin over here. So I hope everybody's been doing good. Um, like I said, I haven't really been following you guys as much as I used to for those who are watching me who I follow. Like so, do I wanna do that? Hmm, that one guy's kinda of cut off there. Maybe I'll just take him to the top or make it look like he's doing more than he is, huh? Give him a new shape. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Oh, gladiolas, they are so pretty. Pretty sure that's what that is. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah, gladiolus, yeah. So pretty. Yeah, let me get that out of the way. I think this will go really pretty with, yeah. Definitely, definitely looks good. All right, that's a keeper. Let's go ahead and add a little ink, just a little bit. I don't want to ruin that brightness of it, so I'm just going to add a tiny bit and give it some dimension. Okay. All right, I think there we go. Bring it all the way down, you think? Maybe down and over? You know what, I think I will. All right, I should probably get a clean one here. Fold that in half. There we go. Oops. So I accidentally ordered these little tiny ones, <laughs> but I have to say, for some things, it's been quite convenient because they're smaller. I don't know, I feel like I'm wasting less glue, having different sizes. <laughs> All right. Let's see here, there. And besides, this one says extra strength. That's Elmer's, this is Elmer's too. Well, this is extra strength too, but this says extra strength I don't know what the difference is. Extra strength craft bond versus just extra strength. Well, we're going to give it a go. 
kind of on a glue kick here because um, I've been using the Scotch Create, which I really enjoy. Um, and I bought one of these. I've seen a few of you guys use this, and so I'm going to try that. I haven't tried it yet. And so I'm, that's why I'm doing a little bit of a test run. I bought some um, Uhu glue. So I will keep you informed, see which one I like. Some of them are stickier than others. This one actually look, works good even for fabric. It's really kind of thick and sticky. Works great. All right, so far I like that. Hmm. I want to keep this fairly simple. I do like it like that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put, I need to seal up that edge. Make sure this is still going to, yeah, that's going to fit in there. No worries. So let's go ahead and do that. I got my glitter glue here, my art glitter glue. Actually, before I do that, do I want to put something in the window so that when I take my card out, it still shows through? Maybe I do. Maybe one of these other pretty scenes from the original magazine. Oh, oops. there goes stuff on the floor. Hmm. What I got? Not much there. Oh, well, that's an awful pretty scene. I'll have to keep that in mind. Mm. Hold on a second. Let me drop down and get this. Oh, oh, this is that. Oh, it's got that. Hmm. Well, maybe not. Let's see. What else is there? There's that pretty red bud, but it's not quite the right size. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I'll put this in the window. Restoring nature's splendor. Kind of letting that peek through after you take the card out. Huh, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's see, I think. Let me tear here and see how that works. Oops. It's a little damp in here, so. Hmm. I think I need to take more off here. Let me use the scissors. Scissors, yeah, I'm just gonna use the scissors. Let's go here. I'm gonna go a little high just to exaggerate. And I'm going to take a little more off the bottom. Let's see, what does that look like? Not quite. Let's take a little more off of this edge. Yeah, that's not a very good cut, is it? Getting closer. I <laughs> gotta get a little bit of that more of that R showing. Okay, let's try this one more time. I think I got it this time. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's kind of fun. I like that. Alright, so let's do that. Get this out of the way. Get some glue on there. Let's use the big guy. Is that the one that I've been using? I got too many of them out now. Okay. And here we go. thought of that before I sealed it because that would have been much harder to do <laughs> if it was sealed. I kind of like that. So this will slip in there. Oh look at that. You'll see the butterflies and the red bud and then you take it out. Ta -da! 
Yeah, I like it. Love it. All right, now we can seal this up. Okay. I don't know, just a little. Give me some glue. Since I haven't hadn't been crafting in so long, all my glues were all hardened up and I had to clear them all out and there we go. Okay. So let's think about the, this part here. Let's make that match this side. We'll just eyeball it. Right? Yeah, I'll just eyeball it. Good enough. Well, I don't even know why I bothered with X. Although I might leave it. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Hmm. Hmm. So I'm going to keep this one just simple. And then I might just leave it as is. I'm trying to highlight the stuff that we got in the junk mail. So I think maybe it's best just to leave it. You know what, for now, let's leave it. If I change my mind, I can do something with it later. But for now, let's leave that. Very cute. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like it needs a stamp. <laughs> so, I do have these little guys, which could be like a faux stamp. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, some of them are super cute. Some of them are just butterflies. Some are mushrooms. Butterflies. I like the idea of the butterfly. That's too much the same color. Too matchy matchy. Actually, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Although maybe a mushroom. Just makes it awful busy over there. I'm gonna wait. All right. Let's just slip that back out of the way. Okay. Yeah. I could do some of this the same as I did the card. Maybe just along the bottom. Or the side, or do the do it kitty corner. Hmm, maybe I'll do the mushrooms on this side. Let's see what kind of mushrooms here. These ones are a little redder. I like these ones, I think. You know what? I think I'm gonna do it. I think I like the mushrooms. I think that's super cute. All right, let's do that. There we go. And I'm going to ink it. Okay, there we go. That is too cute. Simple, but I like it. It's cute. Let me trim off just a tiny bit here. Okay, and let's go ahead and ink the whole envelope to kind of finish it off. And maybe that'll help me decide what I'm going to do with it, if anything else. So damp in here today. My glue is struggling to dry. Okay. I'm just saying, make sure I stay on camera. There we go. And let's do 
to, oops, little critter, <laughs> flying in, making an appearance, and leaving. That looks like a flying ant. Okay, let's do, open, there we go. Let's go ahead and give this guy too a little. another piece. So I've got that done and that will fit very nicely in here. Yeah. Excellent. Um, let's see next. Okay. I do have the little envelope still and then I have a pocket. Let's play with this envelope. I do kind of like the sheet music theme and I'm still trying to use up some of the stuff from the, uh, flyer that came. Well, maybe I can use that red bud now. Look at that. That might work. Hmm. Lots of pretty flowers. Hmm. This is perforated. That's pretty as well. Hmm. Oh, I should probably cover up that. Hmm. Didn't even think about it. Oops. Maybe I can blur it. Maybe I can blur it. All right. So what do I want to do? I kind of like the way that sits on there, and then I could put something else there. That kind of fits perfect, doesn't it? Hmm. And then I can put something there. What could I put there? Hmm. Let's do that. Think about that there. And I do like these little uh, descriptors here. It's the Eastern Red Bud, and it talks about the bark and the form, the, the wildlife value, the planting, leaves, flowers, and fruit. And it's kind of fun. Those might be fun to do something with. Maybe I can do some long, too long tags. Yeah, that might actually be kind of neat. Maybe I could do that on one side and the Red Bud tree on the other. That's an idea as well. And maybe I'll, you know what? Let's do it this way. Since that's what's made to go in there anyways, maybe I'll make this into a card that goes in there. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and deperforate that and flip it over here. Okay. So yeah, I'll turn that into something. All right. Let's continue with this though. So maybe uh, you know what? Maybe. We do both of them at an angle. Let's see if I can do this fairly even. Uh, close. And then put some sheet music behind it. Might be interesting. Hmm. Let's see, I would need at least, I can always trim it down. Yeah, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do three of them. Hold this up to the light real quick and see if I can pick and choose. Yeah. How that's going to go on there. It's going to be right there. Do I do it that way or do I do it this way? I cut off that. You know what? I'll just do that. I'll do it right at the top, right to the edge. Good. So let me make a little mark here. I know where to glue. 
or I guess where the place is. I'm gonna glue on the mags on the envelope. Let's see, that looks pretty good. So we'll glue this side. So I'm discovering with these humid days, I might have to invest in a uh, dehumidifier because it has taken so much longer for the glue to dry. Than ever. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so let's give that a good trim. Geez, I haven't even thought about um, how long this phone will uh, record for. Um, Hopefully, I'm not doing this for too long. I'm still trying to figure out how to keep my videos a little shorter. I think this one I'm experimenting. I'm going to fast forward a part of it. So hopefully that will make a difference. I already filmed that. You would have already seen it by now. I'm unsure what to do during that fast forward part, if I should talk or... Well, the decision will already have been made by the time you guys watch it, so we'll have to see. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so let's go nice and tight. And let's get this guy back in here. Oh, yeah, I kind of like that. So if I move it over this way, fit it in there, then I can still use this one like I would an envelope. Maybe this one will be pretty. The pink one? Or the... Oh, that is pretty. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I think the pink or background. The mauve background. That does look pretty. You know what I have? Aha! I have these I drew onto tracing paper. I could cut that out. Put that like that. Ooh, let's do that. So, I'm going to... Out one of these. And if I put that down, and I put that down on top of it, yeah, that's kind of a cool idea. I forgot, I almost forgot I had those. So I have a little piece here. I'll save. I'll write something on there and use it. I don't like to waste anything. Okay, so if I've got that, and I got that. Hmm. Maybe now I can put another saying in here or a label. I did I did print out and cut out these labels. These are uh, Tracy Fox. Those I know for sure. Oh, that might be something bigger. And I did print them on sticky, uh, sticky back paper. Hmm, that's too big, I think. Mm, that would also be too big, but... Hmm. Anything in between? Anything in between? Oops. Mm. Department of Horticulture. Not quite. It does cover up some of the flowers, but I kind of like it. Hmm. Keep playing here. Or do I just want to call it field notes? No, nah, I don't like the way that looks. That's a no. What about this guy? He's a little bit narrower but longer. Hmm, no, nah, I don't care for that one either. Hmm, kind of like that one actually. Maybe if I put a border around it slight maybe some dark something darker hmm let's see what I've got I know I've got some dark piece or dark uh, tea dyed and coffee dyed paper around here aha here we go I got some scrap oh there we go yeah this will work maybe I'll stick that oh yes that's what I'll do I'm gonna stick that sticker 
And the problem was I when I printed these, I printed them wrong side down with the paper. So I ended up printing both sides because I just stuck it right back in and reprinted. There we go. So hopefully I cut them out properly. Come on. I had it just a second ago. Come on. Yep, I, I did it right. <laughs> a little paranoid. Let's see. Yep, let's go ahead and stick this guy up here. I'll give myself a little room to work with. And let's cut that out and see what we got. So I'll give myself a little bit of extra. It's going to make it a little bigger, but I think that it's going to be okay. I'm going to do a little inking too, because it's going to be the best job cutting out that tag. All right, let's even that out just a little bit over here. Oops. Hoping the glasses will help so I don't see so crooked. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's, that paper is a little bit slick, so I don't know how well it will take the ink. So I'm just going to overlap the edge and see if I can get some ink on there. There we go. I think that'll work. All right, so let's see. How does that look? I think I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and ink a few other things. There. I'm not going to ink that, but I am going to ink this guy. I know the inking isn't the most exciting, but it's, I think it's worth it. I really enjoy the way that it looks after it's been inked. Okay, so, got that back there. And just one final little quickie to see how it looks. That will disappear pretty much there, except for my, yeah, I like it. All right, so I can go aside. The little butterfly can go aside. Um, I think I'm going to put this down first. And the glue stick does work well for it. It just disappears in there. And this is just tracing paper. It's not vellum, so it's not real thick. I really enjoy using tracing paper for all kinds of stuff because of being able to do this transparent look. And it, uh, it's easier to glue down. That glue stick, boom, done. Okay. Should have used the little guy. It's all right. Okay. There we go. All right, make sure it's upright. Yeah, a little bit of space above and below. Excellent. And then I'm going to use the art glitter glue for this one just to make sure. It stays down. Cool. All right, let's oops. 
cover up a few things. Oops, that is spilling over. Where is, hmm, let's use a piece of paper. Oh, I think that's because it's getting old. I got too much air in there. All right, so there is that side of the envelope. Oop, and that glued down again. It is so sticky and damp. I did have that unstuck at one point yesterday. There we go. Gonna have to cover up that uh, little bit there. Hmm. I'd like to put something fancy on the inside. I might end up taking this apart so that I can do a little more, but we'll see. All right, so that I'm loving. Loving. Okay, so um, I need to put a little, I gotta go find a few things that I'm thinking about. So I'm gonna put this on pause. <laughs> 